Hey guys, welcome back. As you saw in the last video, I tore the heads off the engine and we have what appears to be a blown head gasket. Some guys already made some comments on the last video and I saw this when I was working on it, but I thought that when I just took the head off that the head gasket pulled with the head. But looking closer, you can see right here where water's probably bleeding through. Right here looks like it's the main problem. And then same thing over here. So, appreciate you helping me out with that, guys. I don't always see everything. I don't work as a mechanic full-time anymore, so that was a long time ago. But uh, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up. I'm going to do a like a leak test, pour some uh, water or probably lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner, I just feel like, give me a better test and not make stuff rust. But I'm gonna pour some fluid in the in the combustion chamber, see if it leaks. I bought a spring tool so I can take the valve springs out, take the valves out, look for cracks. I also have a 12 inch Starrett straight edge that my cousin Adam gave me. And I'm gonna just check for straightness on these heads with the straight edge and a feeler gauge. I don't have really the 12 inch isn't long enough really for what I need, but I think it'll get the job done. If we need to, we'll lap the valves in, do a valve job, surface the heads, whatever we gotta do. But I feel like we're losing some compression other than the just the head gasket and some of those cylinders that were low because like number eight and I think two were low on compression. Maybe it's the head gasket, but I just wanna make sure we don't have any problems in the heads. So I'm gonna get to work cleaning these up and then we'll start running some tests. You got the head cleaned up. Went ahead and put spark plugs back in it. And what I used was an old Rolock disc. Here's the, the Rolock disc. I turned the speed way down on my thing. Here's a new Rolock disc. And I just don't like using brand new ones. Might scratch it, it's pretty aggressive. But I had an old one, had some stuff on it. So went ahead and used that. And as you can see, I left a few scratches there, but basically everywhere else there's no scratches. There's maybe a few right there. So took my time, was very careful, and that's the way I've always done it, never had any issues. Um, some people may not like that method, but like I said, I've never had any issues. Here we have straight edge, stare at number 380, feeler gauges, and I'm gonna go ahead and check for straightness. Like I said, I would like to have a longer straight edge, but we'll check a couple of points with this one. Also, I'm gonna fill these up with some fluid See if they leak down any. Apparently used to belong to WRG, whoever that is. But he sold it for $75. Anyway. Five thousandths will not go. The problem area was here. Yeah, five thousandths won't go anywhere. Nowhere. That's the smallest thing I have is five thousandths. Five thousandths won't touch, won't go underneath this thing at all. Yeah, this thing is dead nuts straight. Cool. Okay, so she's straight. Now, I have some lacquer thinner, uh, just what I have. It's a, you know, solvent or whatever. I'm gonna pour in these, and you could use water, brake clean, whatever. I just, I have this, so. I feel like water has bigger molecules and maybe it won't show as much. I could be 100% wrong. I could be 1,000% wrong, I don't know. But, um, let's see what we get here. Get a mess. It dries quick, that's the good thing. Number six is holding. Let's 
actually looks like that one's leaking. Yeah, we're leaking out of the exhaust port on this one. That one was low compression. All right, let's keep going. So, exhaust valve right there. Exhaust valve here. Need a light. It's the exhaust leaking right there. Those are dry, and that one's wet. So that's going to be where we are losing our compression on our compression test. And now I'm going to dry this all up and we're going to take the valves out. Like I said, I got a cheap valve spring tool. I actually looked at Harbor Freight when I got home and they had them cheaper. $21. $21. They're $10 at Harbor Freight, the exact same design. So we'll give it a go. It might end up going back to the store, but let's get this, let's get these valves off. Our valves out. Make a mess. Let's see if this guy's got the fortitude. I'm used to the big C-clamp style. Never tried one of these little guys. Not much to see there. Get a light. It looks like just crud, I think. I don't see a crack. There's doesn't look like there's much going on. Maybe some valve lapping compound. Let me uh let me get it cleaned up a little bit, then we'll take a better look. So I tried getting the intake valve out, and the problem I'm having with that little that little spring compressor is it doesn't push the retainer off here, so I can get the keepers out. And what I did for the first one is I got a rubber mallet put on the back of the valve, and then hit the front with another rubber mallet on the spring compressor and after a few tries it got it off tried the same thing here and those keepers are in there so good I just cannot get them out so what I want to do is since this exhaust valve was leaking I'm gonna throw some lapping compound on there lap that valve in and just see what kind of results I can get um, see what kind of marks I get on here and uh, I don't know, make a decision if it needs to go to the machine shop or not. The correct answer is to take it to the machine shop, but um, this, this can add up really quick if I take it to the machine shop. If I buy studs, MLS gaskets, all that stuff, and you know, this just turned into like a $600 job. So, uh, not something I was looking forward to doing or spending money on. So, let's see what we can do. A little bit of compound. It's an old valve grinding compound. Stuff super old. You can tell by the package. C 
see what we did. This is just some fuel line. <clears throat> as long as you don't have oil all over this, it'll work. Let's see what our pattern looks like here. So did a little bit of grinding and you can see there's some pitting on the valve there. Not great. I think the head is probably going to look about the same. Just sprayed it off. And uh, yeah, there's like pitting. It's not getting a good grind on there at all. It got real nice right here and then it looks like it's not touching it here. So it's grinding it right there. Don't think this is something I'm gonna be able to fix. I'm gonna do one more lapping and then throw the valve in, throw some liquid in, see if it holds. Yeah, look at the head and all the grinding is just right there. Doesn't look like it touched anywhere else. Actually looks like the valve seat might be worn out. Not good, not good. All right, valve's back in. Tapped it with a hammer a few times to seat it. I don't think this is gonna do it. Did not help. Right out of the hole. Right out of the exhaust there. So, just what I figured. Well, it looks like I found a few problems. The head gasket and uh, the valves leaking. So, I'm gonna send those off to the machine shop. Hopefully it's repairable. If not, I have another set of cylinder heads up there with no valves. Hopefully we can make it all work together. If they can't get those, we can have one of those uh, other spares used and made to go back on the car. So, um, what else? On the engine, I'm going to go with MLS gaskets. I think those are about $75 a piece. And then ARP bolts. I don't think I'm going to do studs. Just save the money on that. I'm not going to run, but about... 12 pounds of boost so i don't think the studs are necessary and just save that save that money on that part but um yeah we're gonna get it back together as soon as possible just ready to drive the car it's been five years in the making so i just want to drive it and stop working on it all the time but it's part of hot riding so really appreciate you guys uh pointing out the the leaks on the head gaskets very small little thing that i missed but you know, I thought it I thought it lifted from the head gasket and the head, you know, just kind of tore it. But once they pointed that out, I could definitely see the difference um, where the water was passing by. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Might be just a little short video, but I want to bring you guys along. You always have good advice or um, thoughts on helping me out with this stuff. So really appreciate that. But um, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.